beautiful cocktail there, boys. Forgot my orange vest, so we're just gonna fashion a, a sash out of this. It could be an orange cape. There you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. What color is it even? Well, it's blaze orange from 1960. Probably. Blaze, this is technically blaze orange, folks. Just from 1960. That's it. As long as I don't get in a too awkward of a situation. Greg, what does he look like? That dad jacket. Your dad? Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Took a second. I don't have Perfect. any hunter orange, so. It's time for the annual Pruka rabbit hunt. We got some real good conditions today. We know right where they're gonna be. Push the cedars hard, huh? Push the cedars hard, boys. Then later today, Mindy's gonna cook some deer, right, Greg? Barbecue deer roast. Barbecue deer roast in the Instant Pot. So, we got a fun day planned. We're gonna go try to kill some rabbits, get a little more food there, then go home, eat some deer meat, and do a podcast about DIY moose hunting and such. Yeah, moose hunting. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Let's get after it, Hey, boys. wait, Ted's got his pop gun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ted's got the old New England there. She rips. We're gonna have to go four wheel here, kids. Woo! Here we go! Uh, there's 40 or 50 of them in there right now. We might have to get down on the way back. Especially with this front. We got so, fresh snow today, though. Fresh snow? Yeah, they're in trouble. Big trouble. Certainly. Yeah, last year Zach shot four or five, I think, anyway. With only one gun, and uh, the rest of us were like, one oh, gun. why don't I have a gun, right? <laughs> yeah, what do you got there? This is a single shot 20 gauge. I got it from good buddy Brian Melsha back when I was real young, and I couldn't hold a gun up like that size. So I started using this and killed three turkeys and first two deer with it. You killed deer with that thing? Yeah, that buck that's mounted with the velvet. I'm running a youth 20 today, too. 870. 870 Express. These are real good guns. After, like when I was growing up, we used a lot of those New England 410s mm -hmm. that break opens like that. And I had a Savage 410 22 over under. And then my dad bought me one of these when I was 11. Perfect rabbit shooting guns, though. Come down this way, Ted. Oh, yeah. This is the money hole in here. This is the spot right in here, not very far. We're gonna be on them. Right down here. We killed one right here last year, I'm pretty sure. Is he still in there? Missed him. He missed him. <laughs> ah, dang it! Right in this tangle. There's a bed right here, Greg. He was right here, Ted. He must have sleep. Got to be out ahead of us. I got to get a clear shot at him. What are we waiting for? Headshot? Yep. I think I got him. I think I heard a crash. This could get hairy. Hey, don't rip, rip that jacket. Yeah. Be careful. I think he's actually acquired a Wisconsin accent since he's been wearing it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a beautiful cottontail there, boys. We cut a lot of sign through there. We knew there had to be one. Sure enough. Did he run out or did you see him in the garage? Yeah, he ran out long. and then he ran up underneath that mess and stopped. That that's when, that that's when we put the stock on him. That was his mistake right there. Yeah. We should have kept running. Got him right there. Coming down towards you. Here, Ted, why don't you go there? I'll come on this side. Okay.
I thought I saw him sitting in there. Good call. Tracked him right up out of there. Real fresh tracks. Came right down out of here. Yeah, there's tracks here too. I think we'll push them to the end here. I think so. Perfect shot. Oh, you see him flip up in the air? Oh yeah. That was an epic over the shoulder slow-mo shot too. Really? Oh yeah. Sweet. Oh yeah, that's a dandy. Yeah, I tried to shoot him in the head. Yeah, one BB in the brain. That's how you kill him. That's how that's the best way to do it, really. You know. Dead? Well, we're about two-thirds of the way through the cedars. We've had some success. Aaron and I both got one. Aaron's been the uh, master rabbit spotter today though. We're gonna keep pushing this, see if we can get Ted on the board. He looked a little sad, a little pouty. He's gotta carry the rabbits and he hasn't shot one, so let's see what we can do. Ted, you're up, come on now. Keep that positive attitude. Oop, there he goes, there he goes. You out of the way? Yeah, I'm out of the way. I don't know. Oh, right here. Wait a second, Ted. Was it successful? <laughs> yeah, got one. Twenty-two, you know, so you can shoot them in the head, but you don't know if they're going to sit like that. And if they're running, you don't have a chance with a twenty-two. Yeah, that one just sat perfect. I always liked taking shotguns too when I was a kid. It was just it was a little bit safer. It's like twenty-twos can ricochet and stuff. I ain't saying that they're not a good option. Yeah. They are, but when you got guys, you know, down mm -hmm. in thick woods around you, twenty-twos got higher chance of ricocheting. <laughs> Yeah, we're not done yet, are we? Mm -mm. I've noticed Ted's attitudes improve since he's yeah, oh, yeah. He starts getting pretty angry, yeah. you know. He gets awful flustered. Look at him. Can't he's see starting you. to pull his shirt tight. Look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of look like oh, yeah. a tube top on you. <laughs> Got some cottontail weight back there, don't you? <laughs> no fresh sign down here at the moment. Oh yeah, you got fresh tracks right here. Oh yeah, we got a lot of them over here. Yep. If you're heading right for them, keep going down that fence. Oh, right there in front of you, Greg. I see him. Found all the fresh tracks all the way up there. See them tracks coming right through here? He's sitting right at the top of his hole. Like if we would have spooked him, he would have just ran right down in this hole. Got that one right in the head. Huh? Yeah. How about that? Number four, huh? You're getting pretty heavy back there. Right there, right there, right there. What's the count, Ted? Four. Four shots, four rabbits. How do you cook them? We were talking about that a while ago dress them and then you take a pair of like surgical shears or something and you cut the legs off the front legs the back legs and you pull the tenders the back straps out of them then you can fry them piece by piece like that if you want to or you can strip meat off and make rabbit stew out of them what would chef Aaron Neal do he made rabbit frigacy with it frigacy I don't know what that is it, I guess that that's what he said it was pronounced frigacy because I kept thinking it was some French thing that was rabbit fricasse here. That out sideways. Down right there. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> so close. That. 
<laughs> oh yeah, that's a booner. Well, that's gonna do it, guys. We got us four rabbits. Pretty good haul for the day. Four shots too. Four shots, four rabbits. All on film. Yep. They were all sitting though. They weren't running much. We were actually uh, tracking them in the snow. It's pretty cool. You had two or three, two of them. You saw the tracks and looked up ahead, and they were sitting there. Right yep. There. Yep. Rabbit hunting is kind of a tradition that we all grew up with, and uh, it's really, really fun. I mean. This is the second year we've done this now and it's been a blast. That's how I got started hunting is just 20 gauge like that and going out and begging my uncle to take me rat hunting with his beagle every year. <laughs> Pretty cool deal. Good way to get youth and new hunters involved, but good way to spend the afternoon. We gotta get these things to the house, get them cleaned up, and Mindy's gonna be working on deer meat here pretty soon for dinner. So tonight, I didn't get the meat pulled out, um, but with the Instant Pot, I can just shove it in frozen and hopefully it's going to be done in time. I always find these wonderful little labelings on the meat that the guys do. So tonight it's the small roast for Lonely Zach, who's not here, so we're going to eat it anyway. Um, yeah, I wish I could remember some of the other names because they were quite creative and non-descriptive So you don't always know what you're getting in the package. Oh, one of them was rhymes with toast That was you know one of my favorite ones. It was loin <laughs> All right, so I've got about three pounds of roast and that's kind of important because that will tell you how long you need to cook it for so when you're cooking something frozen in an instant pot, you have to have a trivet in there. You don't want to put it on the bottom, which it does come with a trivet. So that's kind of nice. You don't have to purchase it separately. So this is just going to sit in the bottom right there. And then we're going to add a little bit of liquid. And I think you have to have at least a half cup. I'm not trying to soak it in, in it like if you're doing beef broth. I'm just going to do water for the moisture which it looks like we are perfect. So the other important thing with an Instant Pot is to make sure that there's nothing in your ceiling ring and down in these grooves too. So if there is stuff, you wanna make sure you clean that out. And we're looking pretty good. All right, so we'll close it. Makes a nice little sound. We're gonna cook it on high pressure for 80 minutes, which is about is what you need for a three pound roast. And then I believe you add about 10 minutes per additional pound if you're gonna do more than three pounds at a time. So then you need to turn your valve to sealing. So you do that and that's it. And we're gonna come back in an hour and 20 minutes and hope that this turned out. Otherwise we'll be ordering pizza from Casey's. There it is. Those are going. Here, we'll check out this slow mo clip real, real quick to see how this turned out. There we go. Well, maybe I can't. <laughs> Bearing down. You got good and settled in, huh? Oh, oh. look at the heat wave. So now this is Chomper's favorite part. All right, so now we're releasing the pressure out of the Instant Pot. And once all the steam is done and that little red button or pink button goes down, then we are gonna see if we have supper tonight or not. So this is smelling really good and that's kind of a bittersweet thing for me because a few years ago I became allergic to red meat by getting bit by a tick. So my supper tonight is going to be egg salad instead and I get to sit and watch these guys eat what I made. Alright, let's see what we've got. We're going to test it here to make sure it's at a good temp. Okay, yep, we're good. Oh yeah, that's looking good. All right, so about 90 minutes from pulling it out of the freezer to being done, and we've pretty much got supper ready to go. Go you're first. Gonna, you're gonna twist my arm about it. I didn't, never touched your arm, actually. <laughs> no kidding. What? Oh yeah, Jake had, his, this. Yep. Jake had his knee worked on today, or looked at today. 
Yeah, and it's torn. It it's is? ACL is yeah. torn. You mess with the bull, you get the horns, I guess. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what it's supposed to be. Ted and Jake were wrestling <laughs> a couple of months ago, right? Yeah, it was like before deer season. So Jake's been hunting with a torn ACL all fall. It's like not torn, it's like... Jake said, my buddy said Ted know. is a baby, he didn't even te fully tear it. Yeah, <laughs> it was something like, I don't know, it's not real bad, but it's not real good either. <laughs> <laughs> Physical therapy. So they were wrestling because Ted's a wrestler and, well... No, because Jake... Because Jake wouldn't... me. Jake was hassling you. Yeah. You heard him, Jake. You mess with the boy, you get the horns. <laughs> yeah. Little instant pot venison and some barbecue sauce action. What's in egg salad? Eggs? What's in egg salad, Greg? <laughs> it's his favorite thing. All kinds thing. of terrible stuff. Is there? <laughs> Mustard's in there. Mayonnaise is in there. Oh, mayonnaise? No, it I don't is want mayonnaise. an abomination. It's not mayo. Greg just said it was an abomination. Well, to hit, yeah, he thinks that it is. There's dill, there's pickle relish. Mustard, mm. eggs, and not mayonnaise. So what is not mayonnaise? Is that an ingredient? <laughs> not mayonnaise. Not mayonnaise. Okay, here we go. It's called. Here we go. Wait a minute. Here. It actually is something. Not mayonnaise is actually something. Veginase. Okay. But it doesn't taste like mayonnaise. Don't buy. Just try this. I'm not. Just, no. 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 <laughs> Smells like caulking. <laughs> <laughs> it's not mayonnaise. Anyway, you can have some of my egg salad if you would like it. You're not I gonna, might. You're not gonna eat the venison? He is. I am, yes. Oh. But I might also have the... Long story. Go ahead, Ted. Sorry, guys. We're gonna wrap this up. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you, Mindy, for making us beer tonight in the Instant Pot. Welcome. And thank you, Scott, for letting us shoot rabbits. Yeah, that's that your farm, fun. dude. Yeah. Anytime. Let's eat. Oh yeah, we just recorded a uh, podcast with Scott too about his DIY moose hunt. Tons of info there if you're thinking about going on a moose hunt. Jump over there and check out that podcast. We should have it uploaded to the audio platforms here real soon. And it'll also be on YouTube. It might already be on YouTube depending on when this video airs. But anyway, let's see. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Oh wait, I wasn't recording. No way. Whatever. You're always recording. Said Greg never. I know. Said <laughs> Mike Pruitt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. <laughs>